Okay. All right, cancer. Back. I had to do it over because y'all was giving me a love reading. This month, this month ain't even a love reading. I said I'm pulled from the moonology cards. So give me a couple out and then we're going to figure out what's going on. Clarify what's going on. All these going to be pre recorded. So, yeah, and then, and then um, what else was I saying? Yeah, these going to be pre recorded. I'm just going to upload them on the 20th. What is it? 20th and on the 21st. I'll just upload them all at once because I told you I ain't got time to be constantly deleting shit off my phone. And that shit slows up. So, that's the same thing. So, I don't. I really don't got time for all that. I said I'm sorry with all the cards first. And I may jump to the fix unnecessarily. I don't know. So we're going to see. Ooh. First card out, you got your commitment is being tested. I got that though, necessarily in the first read. And a win win outcome is on the forecast for a lot of y'all. Because it seemed like y'all was in a relationship. And somebody got like this annoying ass ex that's trying to come back necessarily. Or you're the ex trying to come back. And somebody is. Uh, and somebody is trying to um, move forward. And then you had marriage, the idea necessarily. So, I don't know. We got one more. Okay, there we go. My personal issue reaches. I mean, they're light bright as hell, wasn't they? I'm trying to focus it. Girl, that would be all right. The answers you need, full moon and Gemini. All right, okay. So we're gonna chuff these up. But now I said in the first spread that I had yet, I had gotten before I had deleted it. It was kind of like about relationships though. But it wasn't giving me like the full details. So I was like, let me just go on here and break this down because I ain't got time to be doing like an hour or something in the for counsel and uh to get to the bottom of the answer just to be pulling cards. But tell me how this is me, the girl with no job. I only get to see me though. So those of you who know who know, the ones who don't, they don't. Because the song in my head is hurt. Hard place. Maybe you. That's the music. It's the music. It is, though. But let me get back to what I'm saying. I like to push up. Okay. Boom. So, with the commitment is being tested, it seemed like necessarily was some problems going on when it came up around the topic marriage. Where you hear me say, you have like a lot of masculines who think that when marriage come up, they want to go have sex and do all these different types of stuff when they get in a relationship. And it's kind of like, you should have did that before. But some of y'all is leaving in a marriage, or whatever the case might be, because it was kind of like a tough lesson. You was kind of like, we could have dated before we even fucking married. Some of y'all is kind of like that. But the latter, some of y'all, is going through uh, karmic type cycles to learn, necessarily, though. Because it was kind of like you seen some evolution going on with a person trying to be able to move to the next level. Seeing like it was a masculine or a feminine that suffered with like some uh, inner child type issues. And I'm not talking about always equated to trauma. It could be like you hear me say the inner child when it's not managed. It's kind of like making friends you know how like the inner child would be like oh hey this is my friend like you see the kids and if their parents don't teach them necessarily like what is right what is wrong what is good touch bad touch all those different types of things this is how they can be taken advantage of so this is where necessarily like most kids grow up to be difficult or intolerable meeting harsh lives necessarily or an idea of them being a man man i'm making money like that type of stuff or the feminine aspect of saying I'm going to grow up and I'm going to be strong and tough. Like that type of stuff. So that's what I was trying to get out. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do three cards each on each one. And then I read the card to you. And then we, whatever comes out after that, we just don't clear it up. That one needs to be heard. Because I was like, counsel's not going to do it today. Today, because if anybody knows me, you know, I don't like talking to partner science with y'all. So all I hear today is my books. Let me check with each other. The three on each. I hate this one because y'all can see the cards. I'm gonna have to get over there though for the time being. I don't like this though. You know, some people mind and maybe show the motherfuckers cards, maybe pull the shit. Y'all ain't caught on the net there, baby. I don't know what to tell you. You ain't watched it. But they do though. And y'all be addicted to this shit watching. God, this is for me, my lovers. Ooh, my shit. Give me a Oh, boy. 
that I'm gonna be seeing y'all in the coming. Three, 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 three. I think you're just gonna take over. Okay, overall, you got the sun type energy. That's why I said some of y'all may have been going through karmic type cycles or growing because the overall energy that I had pulled for those two from the other day. You had Capricorn energy reverse, which was a double, and you had the cherry energy, which was upright. So because of that, it seems like it was independently choosing to operate in a higher self of letting go of the attachments. The um just leading in a healthy way, like in the understanding, choosing you, teammate, player, understanding, and growing. But still with some challenges because this is Leo season, so Leo season necessarily with the um overly inflated type ego. Because like say for instance, you could break away from something that could have kept you in bondage. So because it kept you in a state of bondage and you're finally free, it creates this cockiness. So it's like the fertility of a growing sun, the nutrients of what it's giving you. Sometimes you could just be so happy to be out of a space that you'd be ready to move into a new space. So that's what it seemed like for some of y'all. Bam. Now that we got that out of the way. First call out. You got your commitment is being tested. Can I line it up, y'all? Right? Let me see. Get the light on this one. Yeah. <laughs> You got six of pentacles, four of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. And this energy alone, necessarily, that gives me with the six of pentacles and the four of pentacles. No, this is the give and take. Like I said, for some of y'all, this could be a juggling and balancing. Like, how does a give, what and take? Like, who gives what? It's kind of like counting favors. Like, in the energy, because the two of pentacles came out again, but I was trying to figure out what was going on. In the commitment aspect, it kind of gives me, though, like the juggling aspect. It could be one left on somebody. The other part could be left on the other. Necessarily, when I was saying, like, a lot of people who are in marriages, they, COVID kind of exposed them to saying, like, they, they don't help each other the way they should. It's gender roles. It's gender normity of you do this and you do this. The wife's supposed to do this. The husband's supposed to do this. The girl's supposed to do this. The boy's supposed to do this old southern ass bullshit. So the part of the commitment necessary that may be going on with you and others or recognizing like who gives what and understanding why it is needed because you do have the nine of pentacles and nine of pentacles speaks of like uh, being self-fulfilled, overworked, greed and a person who kind of can be self-fulfilling in those type of moments. So it's kind of like working on your aspect of finances. So finances could be the bigger issue in the relationship. While somebody may be focused on... Uh, Winning more or gaining more, it could be together as a whole, like becoming of thinking about how can we create a legacy together that's long lasting versus just, I'm going to go to work and I'm going to get this 30 hours, I'm going to drive the truck, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to make my money instead of creating something that has longevity. Am I making sense? Okay. You got a win win outcome is on the fourth day. Who is it? Full moon and Libra. Yes, that's releasing. That's why I said it's a win-win. You got five of cups, knight of pentacles, and the seven of cups. There's other fish in the sea. It did look like one of y'all <laughs> necessarily, though, uh, with the five of cups, like recuperating, coming back. Even if you weren't in a relationship necessarily, this could be the idea of connecting with others. Like I said, for the inner child aspect, this could be, oh, I make friends with people being emotionally blinded. So your sobriety issues necessarily came up because some of y'all necessarily like if you do smoke, I don't say you should smoke where you get so high to where you sitting up here where you get fucked off or drink so much to the point where you kind of like that party friend where they got to coat your ass out the club. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that type of energy. So you got the five of cups, the knight, and the seven of pentacles though. For some of y'all, this could be uh, for a lot of feminines, necessarily, when it comes to the emotional aspect, not necessarily looking to the bottom, and especially for a Cancerian type sign, wanting to fix something and somebody saying something, you get mad because they don't live up to their word, and people just necessarily telling you something, or you could say this to somebody to emotionally manipulate. So that's why I said it could go either way. All right, what's next? Have faith in your dream. That's why I said you can have a long term outcome so you can invest in something instead of just, um, I'm focused on this money, I'm gonna do this right here, like, come for me. A lot of stuff instead of just thinking about something that creates the longevity. Have faith in your dreams. 
got Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Some of y'all, it's not the issue of the dream or the connection or relationship with certain people. It's just you doing it. I think some of y'all, y'all can be very stubborn, though, and very slow to move into that. Some of y'all think some of y'all cancers are getting emotionally shaken if it's dealing with relationships or aspects because some of y'all probably like, okay, and I think the shit is a big issue for somebody else. Or you could be telling somebody else this, like, so I was like, oh, no, it's no problem. He got it, and you kind of like, bitch, you're not, like, nobody not paying attention, though, and it's kind of like, I got a whole problem with this bullshit. That's why I said for some of y'all, it's necessary in the commitment, getting on both pages, or some of y'all, it could be, um, some of y'all trying to move. Y'all want to go out in town? Because you got Ace, Ace of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Travel cards, actions, doing certain things necessarily. Your dreams necessarily require you to, um, like, say, for instance, if you were in business, like, say, for instance, girl, that car just going to be on the fucking floor. For <laughs> some of y'all, uh, let me see. Yeah, that shit. But for some of y'all, necessarily, it could be, um, for some of y'all, I think, though, this got something to do with work and travel in a relationship, though, necessarily, though. For some of y'all, say, for you were trying to own, like, a beauty shop or whatever the case may be, some of y'all may be trying to shop around for a beauty shop. You with a person or investors or a spouse or necessarily you trying to get it close to home so you could be able to. But I think a lot of people where they may not be finding it where they need to be, it's like going further because like that would create a sense of laziness with this night because this night can be very slow in the seven of cups. So it's kind of like, oh, it ain't no problem. I'm going to do this. And da, 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 da. So it's kind of like you're being pushed outside of your comfort zone to do something different so it won't create this repetitious like behavior. All right. You got a new star that's coming. This is full moon, new moon in Leo, so you can manifestations out. <laughs> you got three of swords, king of cups, and the lovers, though. You got the lovers reversed. I don't like that, though. For some of y'all that's single or working on into a relationship, ideally, or just connecting or sending. Because I tell y'all, when I see the lovers, it, this speaks to me when it speaks of why I say some people won't want to see no higher than the 3D. So that's the dark light and higher self that's operating on this earthly realm. So some people won't ascend higher than that, and that is okay. But what I don't like about it, because um, the Gemini energy sometimes can be misunderstood. So it's how you can utilize that necessarily with the new star. Because it's kind of like getting over there because like the fact that the earth signs can come out very emotionless and aloof, it could seem like somebody doesn't care, but they necessarily do care. Am I making sense, though? But you got three swords, though. So some of y'all, I think there's been a challenge for y'all emotional. <laughs> I think there's been emotionally grounding, emotionally understanding for some of y'all necessarily to figure out what it is that you want. Because I think for some of y'all in a relationship, connecting with past life relationships, um, if things don't go your way emotionally, somebody's out. And I don't think they recognize that moving forward or going into love, it's not as loving as they think it is. Am I making sense? Hopefully I am, because we're 13 men in. You got a new romantic cycle approach. I'm trying to... I don't know if you can see because it's like bright as hell over here. You got in my hand. I just want to cool. This is so good. Ooh, let me stop playing. You got a new moon cycle, a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So it's not about fair, just necessarily, whatever the case may be. Okay. So you got Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, but you got the Two of Swords the first though. I like it though, because it's all about truthful and understanding and learning and knowing. Some of y'all, like you said, coming out of relationships with the Two of Pentacles though, if it's work and balance, some of y'all need a work and life balance situation when it comes to relationships. That's why, um... For me, it just gives me like this newness of a person that necessarily don't bounce back. Like, say, for instance, if you was in a relationship necessarily with somebody that was materialistic, for you going into a new relationship, 
you are so focused on work or the idea of never going broke again necessarily, it could be a partner or committed or idea necessarily to you, then it creates a problem in relationships. And now it seems like somebody wants to invest in something and um feel arguing about money. That's what it kind of gives me though. The latter for some of y'all is necessarily single. I think some of y'all are learning and going through transitions and understanding when it comes to relationship that everything is not about you. But you know when you're not emotionally grounded necessarily. A person can be very focused on well you have to see me and understand this or you hurt my feelings or I understand da 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 being more empathetic than another partner because you got a lot of air energy here. So air energies necessarily sometimes have to learn how to come down to see things from another perspective. Like, oh, well, fuck this shit. You kind of like, no, that hurt me. So that's why I said it's kind of like taking a logical, emotional, logical approach to certain things. That's why I said it just gets me the two of pentacles. Some of y'all got to get a work and home life balance if you ever want a relationship. Wow. I'm just playing. Let me stop this shit. <laughs> I got a problem. A personal issue reaches... Uh, what they say? A resolution. Girl, this camera is trash. Okay. Full moon and cancer though. Y'all can't even tell. <laughs> this shit is horrible. This camera is horrible. This. Girl, let me stop. You got five of pinnacles reversed, six of wands, and the fool. If you want healing, are you going to take it though, necessarily? Because the Six of Wands, if it's speaking about success necessarily, some of y'all may be uh, holding yourself back when it comes to new chances, new starts, understanding and clarity of certain things. Because you do got the Six of Wands. You got the Six of Swords and the Justice. That's the fairness. That's the understanding, though. The understanding. It really does give me that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Probably in my mind somewhere else, though. That's probably y'all, though. But for some of y'all, though, when me tapping into this energy, though, like where I just don't care and I'm so excited, some of y'all could be a partner. You could be emotionally oblivious to what somebody's going through or what their actions are doing, or a partner could be emotionally oblivious to the shit that they do to you. That's why it's kind of like this all over the place necessarily though. Like one of y'all could probably play too damn much. Like this is what I'm getting though. One of y'all could play too much though. When we shaking the chick on one side to side. I'm like, one of y'all play too much necessarily. I think so. I really do though. <laughs> like one of y'all could be playful or whatever the case may be and somebody necessarily don't be accountable for their actions. But it's like a full moon in a situation arises, but it is you're gonna take it though. Cause six of wands is like everybody. One of y'all Necessarily, when it comes to being emotional grounded, it just gives me this like, if it's not my way, I don't care. So it's kind of like if logic is on the table for either one of y'all or a person or a situation where you're dealing with in life, it goes back to the space of where it ain't what I wanted, so I ain't doing it. Like, that's what somebody's saying. It's kind of like, God damn. So that's what kind of gives me though. So let's see what comes out with this. Uh, Ooh, other dick. Let's see. I'm gonna use Rider Weight. Rider Weight. Like I said, one of y'all play too much. <laughs> Either you or your partner, y'all necessarily play too much, or you have like this playful, giddy uh, feeling to life necessarily to where um, getting to the root of certain issues to where they will become a repetitive type stance is a problem for some of y'all, though. Because the Seven of Cups is being. Uh, elusive. So it's kind of like, oh, man, that ain't no problem. It's still constantly doing the same thing over and over again, and you wonder why your face is getting bit off. Or whatever the case may be by a partner or a loved one. Or life just sticking it to you. For some of y'all, this is you telling somebody else this. Don't necessarily. That's what it kind of gives me. Now. Sorry. 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 Okay, y'all play too much, though. Some of y'all could be like a, a Gemini cusper. Because it ain't even Gemini season. And I feel like I'm talking too much. And we just been in here for 19 fucking minutes. Good ass. Ooh. This one don't like this good ass thing, y'all. We ain't gonna be able to survive. Wait a minute, though. Wow, 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 wow. 
Okay, let's go. Let's see what else comes out. Like, let me say something. I can't wait till I get my chin boom right. So you see me right here. If I was right here, right? And then I got another camera right here where you can see it on the dick. But you see me, but you see the cause. Is that making sense? Let's see how can I make that pop. Because I know I can do screen projection and shit like that. But I'm going to fix it. Laptop. This is a desktop. Sorry, let me get focused. Let's first card out. First card out, you got the star. Hangman and the Wheel of Fortune, though. I said that though. For some of y'all don't necessarily, this could be chasing dreams don't necessarily kind of give me like the energy where somebody talks himself self talks themselves out of certain things. For somebody necessarily, it's kind of like a partner who just does dumb ass things. I'm sorry. Like I just gotta say it like it is. And it's like pushing somebody through a bad time. Like, for some of y'all, it's a partner who does the same thing over and over and over again, and somebody's just like, okay, I'm sick of them to where, like, somebody is very cold. For some of y'all, you're oblivious to your actions that you necessarily do in a relationship or connection with other people. And this could be, like, you telling somebody this or somebody telling you that it's, like, going through these cycles over and over and over and over again. It's kind of like the uh, martyr and the victim where somebody has to continuously rescue someone from the same mistakes that they keep doing, though. Because you got Ten of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. That's what I said. This could be family drama. This could be conflict, though, necessarily, though. This could have to do with siblings, rivalry, understanding connections, somebody going to go save a parent, uh, somebody's coming to step in to heal, necessarily to fix. Because the Knight of Cups, that's very understanding, though. This could be y'all and the energy of with the Knight. Okay, well, I understand, mommy. Well, I understand. Da -da 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 -da. Like needing to fix. Going back to the idea of money, though, like I said, it could be the, uh, your family or connections to family is slowing down relationships or your idea of family is flawed. I would say that though when it comes to family and connections though. So it could be for friends, family, because you also got seven people though. So that's why I said it's kind of like that though. But it gives me though on the flip side some of y'all trying to build a legacy but necessarily don't know trying to incorporate this sense of passion newness of love for what it is that you have but you got the seven pentacles and it's kind of like when is it going to happen that's what some of y'all got like the energy though like, when is this going to happen like uh, like somebody's like in a i don't know any key necessary uh -huh. Okay, you got Page of Swords, Four Swords Reversed, the Page of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. Damn, it's like the Pentacles keep getting shorter and shorter and shorter. So some of y'all could be going through some financial type challenges, though. Could be, though. And I ain't saying financial challenges, but it could be the division as Essex aspect, uh, especially when you're going through pieces and you're starting to try to build shit. Because you do got the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands, though. For some of y'all, this could be friends and people necessarily getting out of the idea of being in that crab energy of being defensive. Because you got the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, protective, you got the Page of Swords. That's like catty, like you get what I'm saying. You the Four of Swords, so I don't give a fuck. The Page of Cups, uh, that's definitely like you ain't gonna hurt me. You get what I'm saying, and very being dishonest about emotional bruising. Four of Pentacles, dealing with losses necessary, Lord, of being open. And then you got the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So it's kind of like this energy of where, like, situations happen to somebody. And somebody's just like, oh, I don't care. I knew this was going to happen. Like, somebody has a very high-key defensive type energy. But at the same time, with the hangman, somebody has lack of remorse of certain things that they do. Like, they do the same thing, end up in the same situation. It's kind of like a victim. But this could be family, though, because it looks like somebody's coming to the to help save somebody. Because you got Page of Swords and a Page of Cups. Seven of Cups again. You got Seven of Cups. Wait a minute. Seven of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Cups, though. That's why I said, if this is a relationship or a partner or a dynamic or a parent, it's like one of y'all is like emotionally drained with this Eight of Swords. Somebody can't see it, though, with this Queen of Cups energy. 
is like in the mind frame of like where it's loving and appreciating you to the highest capacity though, somebody thinks some shit good when it really ain't. So it's kind of like it could be you or another party. It's kind of like, say for instance, if uh, somebody... <sighs> what I'm trying to say, it's like... Um, you know how you have those strange ideas of family? How people be like, oh, well, yeah, that's my family, da 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 You got that dumbass sibling who keep doing certain shit, and you kind of like, okay, I'm going to be there to help them. But you low-key don't want to help them. So it creates a style of resentment. And it's on your face, but somebody just, oh, man, thank you, cuz, thank you, sis. And they just so happy for you to do something for them. But it's like, I really don't like you right now. And somebody's not reading the energy necessarily. That's what I'm saying. Five of Cups. That's why I say it's recuperating, overcoming uh, overcoming those sense of losses necessarily, though. That's what I say. Could, you could have said that, though. Could have been going through your own emotional triumphing situation necessarily. I close those. This is three swords was over here. And I like this three swords. Let me show y'all why it's on my mind. Because I told y'all this is like her crying in the dark necessarily. You see the door necessarily. So when the door closes, this is where somebody like deals with stress. Your heartbreak uh, closes himself off from the world. So that's why I say you could be coming out speaking about it necessarily. You got council energy, cherry energy. Six of cups, nine of cups, and the lovers. Boom. I said this though. Okay, that's normal. Like I said, it could be healing past things or whatever the case might be because you do got the six of cups. You do got uh, you do got six of cups type of energy though. So I do like that though because in the past necessarily somebody wasn't ideally happy. So I think that could be communicated though, like with the seven of cups, like being in marriages or relationships or ideally or connecting or jobs, finding yourself necessarily leaving certain things behind, especially with the ten of pentacles though. Ten of Pentacles could be the lack of support, always everything's in a frenzy, working so hard for finances or whatever the case may be, and then learning how to build something. Because you got the Nine of Cups and the Lovers. So it's kind of like necessary. You may be telling a partner this unnecessarily, though, well, okay, I wasn't necessarily happy with how this situation played out in the past. Da -da 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 -da. It's all these different types of things. So that's what it kind of keeps me, though. But I think, too, that vulnerability draws the couple necessarily back towards love because you got lovers here for some of y'all just leaving nude coming out and saying hey look i don't like uh this could be somebody else communicating this look and you know like i said it did give me the returning energy of somebody trying to say hey i love you what's up let me come back and somebody's like look bitch i was not happy with you let me move the fuck on okay and peace Ooh. So it comes reverse. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ten of Wands. Uh. All right, let's switch the narrative here, please. I'm sick of it. All right. Um. Let's see. Hold on, yeah, I'm trying to get out. Empress Justice, Queen of Wands, and the Five of Swords, though. That's why I said it could be a commitment style because some of y'all necessarily going in a relationship. I told you in the first spread, it looked like somebody was trying to get a lover back or an or old person running back, trying to come back into their life. And they had like some competition where this person necessarily was like dating somebody else in a relationship with somebody else necessarily. And they were kind of like, no, I'm good. Like, you know, the single woman, I'm, I got control of my life. I'm doing this, da, 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 da. like that type energy. And um, it was causing confusion. Like they was coming in to cause confusion, but they 
necessarily wasn't willing to put in the work. For some of y'all necessarily, like I said, this Cancerian type energy with the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles and the Judgment, for some of y'all, this ain't even got something to do with a relationship or a connection. Even if you're going through like some legal separations or taking the risk necessarily being separated from business or partners or establishing this uh, work and life and home, for some of y'all, this got something to do with you. Like, this is just you, just the way you move or necessarily, like, that's why the Capricorn energy was reversed for you learning how to be independent and choosing necessarily what you allow into your space or what you take care of or how you take care of you. Because I think a lot of people necessarily showed you how to take care of you and you didn't like it. That's where the Nine of Cups was, even if it came to lovers. So I think for certain, some for some of y'all, if it's like relationship partners that you was attracted to for those who are single, I think with the hangman, some of y'all are getting the drift that I keep attracting the same type of partners and I don't like it because I want a new style of love because I don't know how to, I didn't know how to love me, so I'm rejecting certain shit. For the latter, for some of y'all, it's the energy of, for the ones who are single, necessarily reflecting on, damn, I shouldn't have pushed that away, da 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 da, da because of this. And then some of y'all is learning about being open because I told y'all the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles because some of y'all necessarily don't know how to give in to love because y'all feel drained and depleted though. Because you got Six of Cups, so it's kind of like past life instances. Like some of y'all ain't learning. So this is where it's like some of y'all are learning lessons with the judgment here and the Two of Pentacles though. So it's like you have no other way because before the judgment, you got Three of Pentacles. So they can be in like spiritual awakening and you got the three of pentacles. So if somebody does want to learn their behaviors, so the judgment like, okay, well, let me just give you one thing. Let me show you this. And it's like the support that you necessarily get, but the support is not coming in necessarily in a way of a romanticism style. It's to teach. So this could be you doing this to somebody else necessarily, though. That's why I said I like that, though. But for some of y'all that's in a relationship or freshly dating, somebody got doubts about you, though. And they like, uh uh, somebody got doubts about a connection, though. They really do. Just give me like fresh, new, somebody like, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, somebody got doubts. Got ten of swords and the three of wands though. And the knight. That's why I said one of y'all put somebody away and y'all trying to go back and get them though necessarily though. You got five of pentacles, four of wands, and the eight of pentacles though. One of y'all could have put somebody away for work. One of y'all could have been going through hard transitions. And a lot of masculines do this when they necessarily get broke. And um they don't know how to say, Oh, I'm going through this, da 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 da. Can you help me? So they push people away. For some of y'all, this is the idea of somebody trying to work on gathering a friendship or family or marriage or connection, understanding what truly what family is. Y'all said for some of y'all, this ain't if you in a relationship, this ain't got shit to do with a relationship, as you can see with most cards. It's just the behaviors you exhibit in a relationship necessarily. What COVID did, because COVID didn't give us a lot of room to stretch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you used to come at home, taking your shoes off. We was in the house for about 60 goddamn days. Couldn't go nowhere necessarily. So we like, damn, I can't move. Like, we get off me. Like, that's what everybody felt with. I'm not going to lie. So in that mood of getting back into that free type space, some of y'all kind of like, damn, you know, like, I can kind of see us getting married. Oh, 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 I can do this with a So it really wasn't that bad. But damn, I got a bad attitude. Well, damn, I ain't got patience for this. Or da 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 da. I feel like I'm missing out on this. I'm doing this. So that's where a lot of these uh, areas of uncertainties is flaring up. Because the Empress is reversed. So it's kind of like being doubtful. Ooh, we finally get into the message. So after y'all have seen so many goddamn times, I'm sorry, y'all see. Yeah, see it. Okay. 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 Three of swords. Three of swords. Three of swords. Screech. Screech. Six of pentacles. 
Oh, no. But going back to this, though, necessarily, if y'all dealing with somebody, you fresh in a relationship, and somebody got a hating ass ex, don't worry about them necessarily if they decide to choose to be with you. Like, you shouldn't be worried about this. If this person has covered this up necessarily and they're not worried about it, just move on necessarily, though. For some of y'all, it could be the pain necessarily of being open and honest because, like, it's a water sign. Like, we naturally just don't heal sometimes. Like, we just feel the love that other people give us. And then we think, oh, my God, we're healing. And then we get into a relationship necessarily and then recognize, like, uh, I ain't done no work. Like, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are recognizing that, though. So that's why I said I think some of the ego necessarily. I think some of y'all recognize it with this kind of pinnacles though, like being reverse. Y'all don't have the support y'all do. Eight of swords. As I said, eight swords, eleven. Some of y'all just could be getting Queen of Pinnacles though. I said this though in the last reading though. Whoever you was in a relationship before last, baby, they. They were money hungry as hell. Let me tell you that. Like, ooh, let me tell you that. And the reason why I said that, though, because if y'all go check out last month, don't necessarily, like, y'all date women who always need shit. Some of y'all may have the idea of being the martyr, the masculinity or the femininity necessarily. For some of y'all, it's just, like, with parenting style necessarily. Somebody doesn't, if, like, dealing with pregnancy and the son, somebody doesn't feel like they're going to be the best parent they can be. Queen of Pentacles means she's going through challenges in time. Doesn't feel like she's connected to herself as a woman, even if somebody's suffering with fertility type issues, it's kind of like feeling in that moment to where, like, is this going to happen? When is going to happen? I don't know what's going on. I don't feel like a woman. Am I naturally a woman? And a lot of masculines are not understanding me. So you could be going through, through the crosswalk and you're watching it. You could be feeling emotionally going through vulnerable type challenges yourself, trying to see why this feminine is acting like this. That's why I said for some of y'all, though. Because you got the tower type moment. That's what I said. Some of y'all though. Some of y'all though. It is. And you got Ace of Pentacles though. That's what I said. That's what I can't get to know. You hear my background, y'all. They do this. All the goddamn time. Anytime I want to do some tear reads necessary. They always want to get loud. The motherfuckers don't say shit. That's why I said it's going to be 12 long fucking days for each damn zodiac sign. And each day you're going to be like, yeah, it's going to be up, down necessary. It's probably be up early in the morning, though. I'm going to just get up early to do them, though. Because I don't be wanting to deal with all that in my background. I feel like I don't want to edit that out. Sorry, y'all. It's real personal over here. And I don't care. Carrots in a mood. Carrots in a mood. Yeah, I call it flu. Okay, all right. I'm trying to get them all out so I can wrap y'all up. Get the fuck out. Whatever the case may be, I really am, though. I'm trying to help y'all out the best capacity that I can, though. And then, um, hopefully this help y'all out. Um, I think so, even though we was all over the place. All right, okay. Bam, okay. A lot of cars fill up, though, so let me see. Let me hold you. No, 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 if only for one night. Da, 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 da. Let me keep you here. But going back to the idea of this feminine, uh, this feminine entity, though, if you hear me say, it could be problems necessarily going on connected with a lot of maternal, like masculine sometimes thinks that maternal type instinct kick in for women, and women sometimes don't get tired. Especially when they're pregnant or they're a mom or they're catering to kids. Like a lot of masculine it. It's kind of like, nigga, look, like I'm human, like I'm only one vessel in a body. Because you have Ace of Pentacles, the Devil, and the Page of Pentacles as well, though. So that's why I said some of y'all, it could be um, the idea of fertility and having a baby, though, necessarily, though, of going through tr uh, changes and learning and understanding, ideally, though, because the Page of Pentacles come across the key certain lessons. Some of y'all could be in the mind frame of where you're not learning certain things, aspects. So it seems like divine. It's like being very rough with y'all, though, necessarily, or necessarily the cross watcher. You got Ace of Cups, though. Um, you got Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, a Magician, and a Queen of the Queen, and the Ten of Cups. That's why I said it's on the flip side of this. You got Ace of Cups, 
Knight of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. For some of y'all, even if you is pregnant necessarily, and this issue is going on, this bothersome or the idea of family is breaking down that exterior because I don't think a lot of y'all have like proper foundations. So it's kind of like as you a masculine, you may be chasing the idea of money, this, this, this to be so supportive or financially supportive versus the Ten of Cups, like overall happiness and understanding what the true meaning of a family is. For um, some of y'all, y'all just winging it. I'm just winging it. I want to say, I just want, I want to say y'all winging it though, necessarily though, when it comes to you and happiness though. It seems like somebody's just a floater, necessarily just like, yeah, this is my family. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the idiots. Like, that's how some of y'all acting though. Because you got King of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Hair Fun. So that's why I said some of y'all may be in that energy though, with this King of Cups. King of Swords and the Seven of uh, Wands. Let's see what else comes out, though. What's over here? You got Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Six of Swords. That's why I said some of y'all ideally are focusing on... This gives me like a masculine type trait. So if it's like feminines you can relate to, some of y'all necessarily could be going through that phase of like being focused on finances or being stability even if you have a loving type partner which is there if you dating this female necessarily it's kind of like this independence of i need to have me because i don't believe you have because in the past necessarily when it came to love and relying if it's a person you deal with they didn't need supportive people so this could be you necessarily going in a relationship even as a child or the adult so this is why both of y'all if y'all in a relationship it's like savages Act like savages. <laughs> That's why I say y'all act like savages, though, necessarily, though. And, um, y'all act like savages, though, like dead ass, though, because people act like just because you come from the idea of money or having the necessary support, like you had that coveting, emotional protecting of you're going to grow up, you're going to be this, da, 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 da. like y'all act like savages, though. <laughs> y'all act like fucking savages. You know, um, but that's why I said, though, some of y'all could be equally stubborn, though. Some of y'all date partners, get in a relationship. Some of y'all play a little bit too much or date somebody who plays too much or y'all around people who are not emotional accountable. For some of y'all, just necessarily learning the lesson of idea of speaking up and owning your truth, like being free away, like the idea of choosing you and being comfortable in your decisions or whatever the case may be, because it's hard to see it trying to include child with the adult experience it really is though i'm sorry y'all it really is we're gonna look clarifier though because i hope this helped though y'all seem like y'all all over the place though it is like y'all seem like y'all was just coming all over the place i'm like what the fuck <laughs> all right okay fight fire as we wrap this up Hey, your commitment is being tested. It's a pentacles for a pentacles and a nine of pentacles. Some of y'all have to learn how to give and receive necessarily and stop being so self-fulfilled. Even if a partner loved you, it's okay to let them know. Like, it's just because I know I love you and I want to give you or have sex with you or communicate or FaceTime or we go out to eat. Da -da -da -da. I need to know that I'm doing okay. And it's not in the sense of where you validate me. It's necessarily to know that I'm doing necessarily a good job as well. So some of y'all gotta learn how to communicate that or tell your partner to necessarily to communicate that. Enunciation. Okay. Then you got um a win-win is on the outcome, which is full moon and Libra. So certain things that you need to release to be able to move forward because some of y'all still holding on to what didn't work out. The illusions of being able to move forward. Like I said, some of y'all are very slow to forgive. Some of y'all are emotional listening. So some of y'all have the idea if this doesn't go your way, then it necessarily isn't healing or picking. Or could be the person you can get to do. Number one, don't get mad at me. Going back to the last card, have faith in your dreams. Where I said for some of y'all, if y'all were trying to get into some sort of business necessarily, you had the Ace of Wands. It was another card. It was right here, though. Where the fuck it go? Well, you had the Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, Two of Cups, and the Five of Wands. That's why I said some of y'all necessarily, when it comes to business partnerships or connecting necessarily, I said some of y'all feel like y'all want to take the risk when it comes to love or ideals or necessarily, but just getting you there. It's a lack of faith of being able to push there. It's kind of like, you kind of like, okay, okay, like waiting on somebody to give you the extra push. 
So have faith in your dreams, even if it's the commitment of a relationship and being able to heal. You got a new start is coming, and that is a new moon. I said this is the new moon in Leo. Get your manifest Leo, get your manifestations together. You got three of uh three of swords, king of cups, and the lovers. I don't know necessarily if you're looking for love or getting commitment or moving forward though, but with the three of swords and the king of cups being reversed, I would say uh take a chance on loving you and healing where I say a lot of people need to understand the light, the dark, and the higher self, where I talk about a lot of people ain't gonna be able to ascend past certain levels. And that is okay. Don't let anybody make you feel bad about it. I said it could be that coming out of the closet of the fears of the space, like being a new you and vulnerable. So that's like manifesting even if it's not like in a manifestation position and you're trying to fix certain things you don't have to go out and try to get into love like it can be self-love that is a requirement you got a new romantic cycle begins which is a new moon in libra balance again fair right is right wrong da -da 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 -da. is it one card over there? no i think he's not i think it's it. all right okay because you got ace of cups Page of Swords. It was a damn page of cups. That's what it was. Wait a minute, y'all. You know, y'all know it was a page of cups. I said that was right here. I knew it was something. Anywho, um, you had a new romantic cycle began. You had Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Two of Swords, like necessarily getting to the truth, like being able to move necessarily in union as one. As a unit, like necessarily figuring out what give and takes, like who does what. Like I said, those gender norms being removed, stepping into what really works for you. Last card out, a personal issue reaches a solution. You got five of pentacles, six of wands, and the fool reverse. Like I said, going back to that emotional listening and recovering, going back to certain risk. Some of y'all necessarily feel like you have to have that push. But some of y'all, if it's healing a family rift of being stubborn or necessarily coming out of this space, some of y'all feel like you don't have to. So I said the Six of Swords and the Justice. Some of y'all feel like, why I got to do it? I don't know. And it could be the change of your life necessarily, though. Because like I said, if you don't remember shit else that I said. You got the Queen of Cups over here, right? And the Queen of Cups is over here, this big emotion fulfilled, ascended and understanding and empathetic and understanding. But you got the Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Hermit. And being able to walk away from situations, the orange is about zest, a new zest for life, understanding, uh, burst. Like being able to walk away and transmute the inner sense of wisdom. Even if it hurts, being able to grow. You got the Eight of Swords, though. That's why I said for some of y'all, this messing y'all learning I, it just don't give me like it's necessarily a partner if you're going through challenges with a partner necessarily y'all going through rough edges it kind of don't give me like it's them even if it is them i think it's a lesson for you to learn and even if it's not for you and it's like your partner doing this because y'all could be energetically attached y'all do know about soul ties right this message could be for them figuring out certain things necessarily what works for them instead of just a chaos for some of y'all, though, like I said, y'all got like some stupid ass issues that trying to creep on back or feel like they can get you back. Fuck them. Whatever works for you. I ain't telling them to take them back, but I said it looked like the nigga or the whoever don't want to put in the work. You don't want to put in the work. You ain't being honest. Some of y'all do, but you like, they know somebody like you, but you still let them come over there and sleep with you and have sex with you, or whatever the case may be. But it ain't nothing. I don't judge. I don't judge. Just leave people. You know they like you. Stop it. Make your piss off. Hell no. But, uh, yeah. That's what I said, yeah. Make the choice is yours. Figure out what you want. So, other than that, though, I thought I got all this money. Get out of my head. Look at this shit. But, other than that, though, I thought I did. I thought I did, though. Other than that, though, I hope it's every all out, though. I finally get to see my little ball head in. You like my ring? I need them. I need wood. Other than that, though, it's going to be a long 12 days, baby. A long 12 days. So, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just playing, so. Other than that, though, I'm going to upload this on the 22nd. I think so. Yeah, so. Bye, you guys.